Hey guys, Christian Conover here, doing another unboxing video today, this time the Zoom H4n portable audio recorder. I've ordered this actually because I need it for the uh, shows that we're doing with Conover Media, Wheelspin TV, <laughs> yeah, quick plug, whatever. Uh, anyway, decided that I needed something that could both facilitate dedicated recording in the studio, as I didn't always want to be recording straight to the computer, sometimes you get some electronic noise uh, and stuff like that coming through. Plus, I wanted to be able to just quickly pick something up and go and do field recording from doing interviews, stuff like that. So I got a recorder that is able to, from what I, everything I read anyway, haven't tried it yet, uh, but from everything I read is able to do both the studio recording and the field recording very effectively with multiple mic inputs, even has XLR on it apparently. So. I uh, wanted to start out doing the unboxing video, show you everything that comes in it. I actually haven't even taken it out of the, the shipping box yet. Uh, so this is a 100% unboxing start to finish. So uh, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what all we find inside. Alright, so we're looking at right now the shipping box that the H4N came in. Uh, ordered this from ZZSounds.com. I have no affiliation with them, so I'm not plugging them, just letting you know where it came from. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open using my uh, fantastic handy dandy universal box cutter, also known as a random key on my keychain. Slice that bad boy open. Look at that thing. Slice through the tape. It's almost like it was designed for it, except totally not. And I don't have a better tool to use, which is why I'm using keys. All right. Brown paper, blah, blah, blah. Some sort of packing slip. And finally, it looks like the H4N. Or as they say on the box, the H4 Next. First impressions, just pulling this right out of here. Um, pretty hefty box, actually. Uh, feels like there's some some serious weight to it. The um, the packing, or the, the UPS slip said that it was about 2.7 pounds. So that sounds about right, I guess. Um, so, all right, let's, uh, actually, you know what, before we do anything else, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what it says on the box. So, first off, let's take a look at this right here. Going to zoom in on that. So what it looks like we got here is, uh, is that backwards in the frame? Who knows? Anyway. H4 Next, recorder. Uh, let's see, what else is we got in here? Um, talks about basically all the specs in here. I'll go over these later, so we're actually not going to bother with this. All I'm going to say is uh, lists included the stuff included in the uh, in the box, and uh, actually looks like it, it's supposed to include a uh, uh, handle to like hold it as a normal microphone and a windscreen, which I didn't even realize was in here. Um, both of those items listed right down here. Kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, crack this box open. Going to zoom back out here so we can look at everything that's going on and uh, see what we find. Um, nice thing about the Zoom H4, it's, uh, or yeah, H4n. Uh, one of the things I got about it, big key thing for me, XLR inputs. Um, nice thing about that, and I'll show you here in a second. Um, they're full-size XLRs, which means you can use a normal microphone, like a professional microphone cable you'd find with any serious microphone that you'd be using. Uh, XLRs are great for long-distance runs if you're not familiar with it. So if you're doing anything where you have to put the microphone further away from the, the recorder than even a few feet, or really in any situation, they're nice because they're better shielded, higher quality, heavier duty cables, and they are pretty much a universal standard for any higher-end microphone. Uh, that's actually what I use with this microphone right here, um, the studio microphone. This cable right here, that's an XLR input, and what it looks like is like this. Um, so you'll see it, uh, it's got a three-pin arrangement on it. You can't really see too well in this shot. Kind of see it. Now it's getting fuzzy. Anyway, uh, three-pin, it uh, does grounding, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll show that to you in a few minutes. Um, using actually this exact microphone. Um, but that actually won't be in this video. You can look for that in the next video about this recorder. This one is just going to be an unboxing, so let's jump right into that. First thing, uh, USB cable right there. 
Looks like it's a uh, mini USB, the more squared one. Show that to you real quick, if I can get it to show. I uh, can't tell if you can see that too well. Uh, anyway, mini USB, pretty standard thing, so even if that one breaks, got another one to use. Uh, one gigabyte SD card that comes with it takes any SD memory you can use, uh, so it just comes with one gig. I have no idea how much that will hold in terms of recording audio time. Again, the H4n has a lot of different codecs for recording both um, time code supported WAV and MP3, uh, and a variety of quality levels thereof. Uh, so the amount of time you can fit on that one gig card, entirely dependent on the audio settings you have for the recorder. Uh, I'll probably most of the time be using the WAV format because then I'll take it into the audio editor on the computer, do some stuff, and mix it down to an MP3. Sometimes though, if I'm doing really rapid uh, reporting stuff where I need to get the content out as quickly as possible and I'm able to do it professionally, I might just record straight to MP3 and that will make sure that all I have to do basically is copy to the computer, edit some ID tags and album art, and post it online, and within a few minutes I've gone from original audio to published and syndicated content. So that'll be useful. Well, another reason why I ordered this particular recorder. There's that handle I was talking about. The um, Basically you can hold it like a microphone. You just screw it onto the end of this thing. You can hold it up like a normal microphone. Um, and if you happen to be doing just such a thing in windy environments, big old foam windsock right there. Um, that way you can do it without uh, blowing out the microphones, rather with, with all the wind. So if you're outdoors, great thing to use if you're using the built-in mics. Uh, let's see what's in this thing. I'm guessing this is an AC adapter, you know, wall power thing. Yep, that's what this is. Plug this right into the wall. That way you're not limited by the battery time. Especially useful if you're, say, in a stationary area or you're can, or you in like a vehicle with, and then, like you have a power inverter or something like that if you're doing a long distance trip. Uh, and if you're, especially if you're using phantom power with the XLRs, that'll be great. And last but certainly not least, and I think that's the last actually, let's see if there's anything else in this bottom part of the box or is that just a support tray? Nope, just a support tray. So, last thing in the box, the recorder itself. Really feels pretty heavy and solid in my hand. I don't, doesn't really bother me the weight. I'm, you know, the weight to me, whether or not this is any indication, uh, is that it's of a good build quality and there's a lot in there. Uh, also, nice thing, it comes with this kind of Tupperware-ish, uh, pretty heavy-duty plastic case for the recorder itself, uh, which is especially handy since you've got these two condenser microphones up the top, which I'll show you in just a minute. But this is a good way to protect it when you're not actively using it. And I'll be bringing that with me pretty much any time this recorder goes with me. It'll be in the plastic case just to be safe. All right, little plastic sleeve comes off. And here we are, the Zoom H4n right here in my hand. Um, pretty solid feeling recorder, first impressions. As I mentioned, these two condenser microphones at the top, um, which are actually, you can rotate them, and I'll explain that in a second. But uh, what this means, the way that they're pointed in these dual microphones, this is a full stereo recorder built right in. You can record to stereo channels just using the built-in condensers. I have no idea what the built-in mics sound like Usually I'm a little hesitant to use those kinds of mics, the built-in ones, just because you don't always get as good of an audio quality as you might with an external mic. Uh, you might get some handling noise if you're using the built-in ones, or they might just not be as high quality as, like, say, the studio mic I just pulled over a second ago. Um, in fact, I really hope they're nowhere near the quality of my studio mic because I paid a lot of money for that thing, and I would hate for these little built-in mics to show that up. Not too concerned about that though. I do hope that they are good quality, that when I'm doing on-scene audio and interviews and stuff like that, I can get good quality. And from everything I've read and heard, that is the case. Uh, pretty b big screen on there. I mean, uh, you know, that's pretty good size. There's the, uh, I'll show you for reference. And I don't know exactly the dimensions of this screen off the top of my head, but for reference, there's an SD card uh, next to the screen. So, basically the size of two SD cards put next to each other. That's pretty good size uh, for this kind of thing. Um, basic controls, you got your record button, uh, a couple of function buttons. These look like menu navigation as well and quick switching between formats and whatnot. Uh, these are your nav buttons, um, play, pause, stop. Uh, looks like next track and last track kind of thing. You can select the inputs um, in a variety of ways. Um, and then on the side here, we've got the power button and a hold button. 
and uh, USB connection, volume for I'm guessing output, maybe input as well. Um, headphone slash line for monitoring your audio or outputting it live if you're going into a camera or something like that. Plug in for just a uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, external mic. And uh, let's see, uh, here's your record level. So there's this is the volume for input on the other side. Menu button, toggle switch, I'm guessing for navigating through menus. SD card slot right here, which I'll just go ahead and put that in. That feels, it could, feels like it could be a little flimsy and uh, so I'll just be gentle with that one. Uh, anyway, gonna throw the SD card in there right now. It's unlocked, yes. Ready to go with that. Close that back up. Seems pretty good though. I mean, as long as I'm gentle with it, which I will be, then it should be fine. Uh, battery doors back here. Do not have batteries in there yet, so I'll throw those in in a minute. Um, and then we'll do the second video for the, uh, the actual using of it. Um, on off switch, or stam I'm sorry, stamina switch, uh, which basically you can flip that and it'll quickly drop down to a, a lower codec to get long recording times out of it. And finally, dual combination XLR and quarter inch input uh, connectors here. So in the center you can put a quarter inch and then also in using the exact same connector you can use an XLR cable if you want. Two of those, um, you can use them as mono, I believe. You may be able to do them as stereo as well, but I, I'm not positive of that, and we'll find that out in the next video. But at the very least, you can connect two separate uh, high-quality microphones through the unit. So, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything in the box. Um, as I said, I'll go in the next video much more in depth into using this thing, including demos on audio quality with both the uh, internal mics and my external mic going through here and doing some of the combination features. There's a whole bunch of stuff packed into this thing and it's gonna, as I said, it'll take a whole, uh, another video just to go through everything. Um, but keep an eye out for that one. I'll have that up shortly and, uh, and enjoy. Be sure to go to my website also if you wanna see other stuff that I've reviewed or done demos on at christianconover.com. Have a good one, guys.